screen, uh, get an audience volunteer, uh, set up a computer and go through their Facebook page, uh, photos, friends, interests, whatever, and we use that to build all our improv off. And uh, the last one went really well, so we're definitely looking forward to the next one. Uh, we also have classes. Registration just went live today. Uh, our, our spring session of improv classes. Uh, right there, if you've taken an improv class. Uh, awesome, we all plenty. Great. Uh, and so that please sign up. If you actually, uh, the code, if you use the code in your Facebook when signing up, uh, you get uh, $20 off. So, and that's last until like March 16th. So, uh, improv class is lots of fun. The teachers of this uh, session are Katie Hi. teaching intro and Matt teaching group work Yay. for more advanced class. So, and we actually just had auditions. Uh, and we've got some, some awesome new people that will be performing on the Galley 5 stage soon, soon enough. Uh, are there any more announcements? Yeah, I think I've got yeah, visit our website, rvacomedy.com, for more info. We're also on Facebook uh, and the Twitter and uh, Tumblr, uh, RV and Comedy. And uh, yeah, please like us. We're close to 700 fans. Yay! Yay! If we get to 1,000. If we get to 1,000. We get to a thousand, we'll read everyone's name one by one and record it and put it online. Yeah, we'll <laughs> and we'll do a dance. Yeah, that, the oh, dance the dance with the with the spirit hands. Yeah, I'm gonna it's dream, a, dream hands. Dream hands. It's an internet thing. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, clearly, uh, Herschel's going to be coming back, so let's just welcome Herschel to do this thing. No, I don't, uh, never mind. I don't even know what I'm doing today. It was just on stage in my instinct. Here, does anyone want this? <laughs> I'll take it. Yes. I, Herschel Stratego, anonymously donate this to the uh, Richmond Comedy Coalition temporarily. Um, oh, right, yeah. I'm, I'm still on Facebook. Um, and MySpace. <laughs> so I'm not technically famous. I know, yeah, these glasses. I just don't wear them most of the time. But I'm going to read something from um, my book, which I wrote. Um, <laughs> it's called Plagiarism and How to Get Away With It. <laughs> and this story I wrote, um, I should even post the whole story on my, in my Facebook notes, but with like initialized things like O, A, U, like once upon a time, and then just it's a little fable. Um, anyway, so oh, it's illustrated too. So. Oh, wait, no. oh, wait, actually, that's also um, internet lingo. I wanted to catch on. Egypt is what you uh, what happens to you when like the government takes away your internet. Like, <laughs> we got Egypt. I have Verizon, I get Egypt all the time. Anyway. Oh, this is kind of a long story, so I'll be quick. It's like the only complaint I've gotten about this story. By actually someone um, who might be up here one day for the Richmond Famous series. His name is Silver Persinger. There's a person here. He was, he was uh, voted Richmonder of the Year last year, and I, I'm not sure if this is why, maybe it's a coincidence, but he's filmed a few of my shows. <laughs> and I got to be the um, singer-songwriter of the year, or something like that. <laughs> it is 2.30, right? <laughs> It really works. You'll see. <laughs> In minutes. Um, anyway, I wrote this partly because an Italian project was due, and originally this is in Italian. Um, and it's kind of hard to articulate what it means in English. But if anyone speaks Pig Latin, I can, it's 
it's much easier to understand it in that. Um, but I'll just do it in English, if you don't mind. Is anyone in here an illegal? <laughs> um, so anyway, someone told me a while ago, they were like, man, you're going to be famous one day. And I really didn't like that because I wanted them to say, man, you're going to win the lottery someday. Um, anyway, unfortunately, I got the famous thing. So, hi, folks. <laughs> okay, so um, I guess, I, it, I don't know if this even has a moral to the story, but you know when you want something really badly and then it ends up killing you in the end, um, so to speak, or maybe literally, if you're lucky, because sometimes when you don't die, life is really bad. <laughs> Man. Anyway, this one's for the kids. <laughs> this, um, it's all for the kids. It's all for the kids. So here's a little bedtime story. Thanks for coming out, and thank you to the uh, Richmond Comedy Coalition. They're truly one of the greatest. Um, also, Joe Hafke is in the house, I think, still. He might be the best comedian in Richmond, along with, with David Marie Garland. I think he's here, too. Oh, and that Omari guy is great. Um, okay, and, uh, and Marky Jeter, I think, is pretty good. Really? I'm okay. I'm in the top there. Okay, so cats are animals that play all day. When they get hungry, they like to eat pretty fish. At night, they watch the moon and the stars. Once, there was a cat named Toto who had finished playing and was getting hungry for a pretty fish. He remembered what his mother said. Now, Toto, if you're hungry for a pretty fish, you need a worm at the end of a really long string because the pretty fish live in the deep, dark water. She's Jewish or something. <laughs> you look so thin. <laughs> you need a pretty fish to eat. So, Toto, the hungry cat, asked his friend, Gogo, the worm. Say there, Gogo, I'm getting awfully hungry. Could you do me a favor and fetch me a pretty fish? I got a long string. Yo, anything for a friend, replied Gogo. Uh, There's also a black exploitation tale. <laughs> <laughs> so Toto the cat put Gogo the worm at the end of a really long string and tossed him into the deep dark water to get a pretty fish to eat. <laughs> Gogo was deep, dark, deep down in the dark water when a fish swam by. Hello, my name is Fina. Oh, yo, my name is Gogo. <laughs> and I'm a worm looking for a pretty fish for my friend Toto. He's my dog. Well, he's a cat. <laughs> yo, he's so hungry, man. He's a hungry cat. Fina was confused. What's a cat? Yo, cats are animals, they play on the they play all day, explained Gogo. -Go. And man, they be getting hungry. They like to eat pretty fish. And at night they watch the moon and the stars. Wow, Fina was amazed. I have never seen the moon, nor have I seen the stars. Take me to your hungry friend, please. Well, Gogo -Go replied, Toto's looking for a pretty fish, so I'll keep looking. No offense, lady. Plus, if you were pretty, you might get to see the moon and the stars and all, but yo, yo, man, you would be eaten. Don't feel so bad about it, alright? Now, I need to find a pretty fish. Excuse me. <laughs> These glasses are really crooked. It's bothering me. Um, okay, there. <laughs> okay, so she was just rejected. Fina swam home, and her parents knew something was wrong. Are you okay? asked her mom. I'm not pretty, and I'll never see the moon, nor will I see the stars. Good, said her very conservative <laughs> That's her dad right there. Good, you don't need to be pretty. We're ugly fish. And we belong down here in the deep, dark water. You don't need to be swimming around in them dangerous, bright waters. <laughs> Fina swam to her room and cried herself to sleep. <laughs> she awoke the next morning. Oh, yeah, she's a fish fan. <laughs> um, 
and was still upset, <laughs> angry at her parents, angry at that worm, angry at herself. She wasn't pretty. She just didn't care anymore. Fina was going to swim in the dangerous bright water. Meanwhile, Toto the cat was hungrier than ever. Hey, Coco! Let's try to find me a pretty fish today, eh? I'm starving here. So, Gogo the worm agreed. Y'all, maybe we'll get lucky today. And then, Toto noticed something different. Hey, look over there! I see a pretty fish! My kid couldn't, like, draw more. Uh, look over there! I see, I see a pretty fish! I'll go get it, boss. He said in a 1950s gangsterly fashion. <laughs> he approached the fish. Y'all allow me to introduce myself. My name is... <laughs> I know, it's not Slim Shady. Your name is Gogo, and you're a worm, right? Looking for a pretty fish for your hungry cat who's a dog? He was so surprised. Fino, is that you? You look so pretty in the light. I can take you to my friend Toto. He's gonna eat you, but first you, you probably gonna get to see the moon and the stars. <laughs> Fina was so happy. And that night she saw the moon and the stars. And that's a little pun right there. <laughs> anyway, um, please stick around for more from the Richmond Comedy Coalition. Space and time, and found ourselves right here talking to ourselves. <laughs> really? Man, I can't believe we're going to move. I know. I wonder what this place is going to look like in 20 years. Growing chairs! Growing chairs! Growing chairs! See us. <laughs> you know, like your stuff was here and then it's gone. Yeah, I wonder if 20 years from now there'll still be people with lobster hands. What? <laughs> 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 what about all the mirrors? What if we could like step into a wormhole and go back and see ourselves 20 years ago? Yeah, I wonder what that would be like. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, I like 
like your little guitar. I think Paul Bunyan's big guitar is ostentatious. <laughs> it feels good against my fingers. <laughs> like you. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I. You can talk about what I feel like underneath your fingers. You feel like velvet? Crushed velvet? Soft and silky? Well, if you were silky, you'd be silk. It'd feel like silk, but you're crushed like crushed velvet. I wonder, you're so small, I wonder if I would feel it if you even touched me, Tom Thumb. Anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I feel oh. something. I feel something that's really nice. You know, if, if Paul Bunyan had done that, I'd probably be dead right now. <laughs> Thinking that little noggin of yours. I'm <laughs> just wondering, you know, if we're if we're here looking. Yeah. Uh, do you ever get tired of being a cat? <laughs> Every you day. Know? Yeah. No, I know exactly what you're saying. Like, what's it like to be something else? I don't know. Seagull or oh, anything. Oh man, anything that could fly would be great. Or a meow, meow. <laughs> Everyone goes through this 
Hey, it's a cycle. You live and you die. And animals are the same way. Fluffy's dead? Uh-oh. Oh, oh Hey, paraplegic Paul! 
right, well, help me carry this, uh, this person, person. this human being. <laughs> hey, I'll get the top half. <laughs> 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 like I haven't heard that one before. That was it. You've you've passed the test. <laughs> Are you gonna knight me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get down here with me. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank God, you're finally on time for once. Ah, oh, thank you. Nice this, this is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. Like, I've had to date some weird dudes that are into some weird shit. Really? Tell me about it. I just, I want to put you on a hook. Uh -huh. Tell me more. Then throw you in the ocean. <laughs> then have fish nibble on you. Ow. I want to cover your bottom half with ice in it. Yeah. So you want them cheap birthday cakes that look like uh -huh. a fake Barbie. That's hot. <laughs> That's all I know. That's my fantasy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to put you into one of the box the magicians use Boxes. to saw people in half. And then I want to saw you in half. I mean, half. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of another fantasy. I want to take a horse and cut it in half. Cut and it. then I want to super glue you together yeah. and then my very old female yeah. centaur. Uh, I'd like to take you and maybe accidentally step on you. Oh. <laughs> Introduce you to my big blue ox, if you know what I mean. Get out of here, Paul Bunyan! Oh, come on! You're such a cock block! <laughs> a, a, I mean, a, a, half, a half girl block. I don't. I gotta look that word up. It's not cock, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Hey, 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 yo, uh, my buddy's looking for some, uh, pretty chicks. He's, yeah. he's kind of horny. I was just, I came down here to the deep water, hoping I'd find some pretty chicks. Hey, hey, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 baby girl. He, he likes, uh, he likes chicks with legs. <laughs> He likes legs. He's really into legs. First thing he saw when he popped out. Bam! <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I don't want to get technical here, but as you can plainly see, I have legs. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't date me, you're gonna look like you have a lot of wives. <laughs> She's not too smart, so. Ariel, look at them girls up there. <laughs> 